Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here and today is March 2nd, 2017 and we have Gearhart's War Factory on our archipelago. And I already did two attacks. We're gonna have waters loaded to finish it up live with you guys. Um, but before we do that, any, any of that guys, I wanna thank you very, very much for, for your support. Um, two days ago, I, well, two days, three days ago, I posted a video that we were really close to reaching 600 subscriber that we just needed a small push to make it to 600 like 20 people um and you guys responded thank you so much we're in our, right now at 613 that's really amazing i'm really happy about that and i want to congratulate you guys for joining me and uh, yeah for thank you and, and thanking you for 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 your vote of approval uh for uh for this channel you know it seems that you know a lot of you guys like the content i'm producing and i'm very happy about that so Let's uh let, let's go for it. So last night, ooh, that's a that's a that's a max level troop health. Actually, no, troop health is uh, fourteen. Um, in any case, I'll, I'll deal with that later. So last night I was uh, running with some tank grenadiers and medics, and I had them loaded this morning. So I say, why not? Why not run tank grenadiers and medics on the first stage of Doctor of Gearhart's War Factory? Um, I mean, you can see the sort of pandemonium I I ended up creating. In the first attack, just using tank grenadiers and medics, I ended up cl um, clearing the first five reward stages of Gearhart's factory, which was pretty, pretty good. Um, and then because I had some of my guys survive, like I want to say, I think six of my grenadiers survive. I loaded uh, riflemen and uh, all, let's say all my grenadiers survive. Six of my grenadiers survive on, for the second attack. And all my medics did too. So I ended up loading riflemen to do a quick attack and finish this up. The second attack wasn't that 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 effective, but it still managed to do the trick. So let's take a look really quickly at what the first attack entailed. I'm gonna do it here at, uh, after I do the GB. I ended up, those guys have 60,000 HP points of hell, those lasers. Um, my intention was to send three barrages and five artillery, and I thought I did, but I on review, I only ended up sending two barrages, four artillery shells, and you're gonna see that I end up missing. Um, at one point, I wanted to send one more, and I end up missing that, uh, I was zooming in and out, and I end up hitting that um, shock launcher. In any case, I'm gonna now speed this up to two times. So I landed my tanks, and I did my calculations beforehand. I knew that neither the rocket launcher or the laser or the sniper tower by themselves or in combination will be able to take out my tanks or my grenadiers because my medics will keep up with that damage. So you're gonna see here, I'm just clearing up, you know, as much as I can. Um, I send another barrage to clear those lasers. Still, those lasers are still alive. So it, it, it's gonna need another, another artillery shot to clear those out. So focusing on the laser, once I do, and I see that the cannon is, is it's turning, I shock it, I flare it, I need him out of the way really quickly, because otherwise, um, I mean, that cannon is gonna eat through my tanks and that's, you, you don't want that to happen. So I'm just keep, I just keep clearing. My goal was to just get enough GBE to destroy the lasers. That, that was, to be honest, my original intention. I wanted to open that hole right here and then send some sukas in, clear everything up, and then maybe do a second attack. I don't know. That was that was my plan. I had no idea of what what my intention was after this. But I quickly realized, hey, I can clear that. that I can clear this rocket launcher, uh, and that's gonna make it a lot easier for me to 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 do my sukas, right? Um, regardless, it still I had another rocket launcher. So on high side, it wasn't that important for me to clear to clear that that rocket launcher. But but I still managed to. Clear st reward stage number five. Um, do significant amount of damage, and you can see my tanks are dying. But now, look, look at this, guys. That shock blaster is targeting my, and I made that mistake. I shouldn't have flared back. Um, but that shock blaster, I mean, my medics can barely or can almost keep up with the damage of that shock blaster. I was pretty impressed by that. Um, I'm usually very afraid of shock blasters. It's something that if I see them on a base, I just, bruh, I take them out. So you see, I ended up um, killing 10 of my grenadiers, having six grenadiers left, eight medics left, um, and, and no tanks left. So I decided, hey, you know, why not? Why wouldn't I just load um, just riflemen? It's gonna take me 26 minutes to load them. That's gonna replenish my wires. That's gonna replenish 
one one grenadier on each boat and I just go for it. And I did. Um, just I knew I was going to take it out. So then my idea right now was, okay, I'm going to clear the, rock, the, the, the final rocket launcher. It's going to take me two barrages and four artillery shots. There we go. After I do that, you know, one artillery, just to clear machine guns, there's no reason of, of getting hit by those guys. And I'm just going to land my troops. I'm really not in the mood of caring, not in the mood if they're going to, you know, I don't care if they're going to die. I just land them. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna keep shocking those shock launchers and shock blasters for as long as I can. My idea here was to clear as much as I can from the front while, while avoiding the lasers. Now, maybe if I had... Um, Oh, you say it. Maybe if I had smoked my rifleman in front of the, uh, in front of the shock launchers and the shock blasters, it, the, the attack would have been more effective. I wouldn't have wasted that much energy just shocking. But I, in reality, I did not have anything else to use my GBE energy with. I, I, I knew I didn't want to take these lasers out. There was no point on it. I just needed those shock blasters and shock launchers out, which I managed to do. I mean, you're gonna see here, um, just some distraction. The, the, the riflemen are just there just as a, um, how you call it, just as a shield. They're just there to shield me. Um, I knew that the war, that, uh, heavies would, wouldn't have been good, essentially because they would have been one-shotted by those cannons or nearly one-shotted. But you can see, I mean, those lasers are weak as hell. I, I, I'm getting shot by a machine gun. I'm getting shot by a shock launcher. I'm getting shot by a shock blaster, lasers, and my, my riflemen are, are holding up. My grenadiers are holding up. Everybody's holding up, um, and here's where I freak out. I should have, I should have just flare that um, shock blaster. And this is where I realized, wait a second, my medics can actually keep up with the damage. Um, my medics can actually keep up with the damage that this shock blaster is doing because remember, the mechanic of the shock blaster is he's gonna keep firing at you until he shocks you. He's not going to keep shooting on you until you die. He's going to keep shooting on you until he shocks you. Then he's going to switch targets. Um, and generally, it takes, what, three, four, you know, three or four sh shots to actually shock your troops. And look, my medics are surviving. Everything else is surviving. And I was like, oh, my God. So once I realized that, it was too late. I had run out of GBE. Um, uh, and I, th this is the point where I realized it. Um, I was like, I had already run out of GBE. There was nothing I could do. I could not target that shock blaster. And it was just a matter of, well, let's see if with the over splash, I can take some extra buildings out. I needed to destroy two buildings to get an extra flare to target that shock blaster. So there we go. I destroyed two. And I don't know why I ended up using a smoke. I should have just targeted. I and I knew I, at that point. It's like, why did you do that? So you you knew what you needed to do was just um, flare to the actual blaster to kill it, and I did it right. So now I needed to to destroy two more structures. Um, but again, I mean, the shock blaster is slowly killing my guys because now there isn't a lot of stuff in range. But here we go. Here you see him switching over targets. My medics can keep up with the damage because he's just switching over. And there we go. I finally get the energy and, the, and I try to target it. Even with all the laser firing, guys, this is just crazy. I, 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 under, I overestimated those lasers. Those lasers were weak as hell. In any case, I managed to clear, like I said, everything up there. I have 109 GBE energy. And I think this should be pretty, pretty easy to take out. There isn't anything really that's dangerous. Um, so my intention is I'm going to GB this guy out. I'm going to smoke my way up to the HQ. I only have to worry from here. So I'm going to use only like two or three smokes. I'm going to be careful just to avoid any sort of oversplash. And I'm going to send career pack here, career pack here, shock and shock, and then just call it good. You know, by the time everything else expires, we'll be out of danger. So one artillery shot should, should be able to take care of this. Let's land our guys. Right, and then we're gonna do smoke, smoke. Smoke and smoke. Just being safe. I, you know, I know I don't need to do it that way, but I was just being safe. So I'm gonna wait a few seconds. Here we go, shock, shock. Kill your critters, critters, critters. And one, two, three, four five six 
six hammer hits and the issue went down we didn't then we didn't end up losing any troops but i mean that was sort of expected we just cleared the entire front of this base um pretty uh, overall i like this this gear hardware factory i mean i was not thinking um of doing it the most efficient way I, I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure some of the other youtubers like cmod chicken beardaholic uh mac uh who else i don't know who else is producing content right now and if i oh uh, maybe tur maybe turtle um posted something um maybe they have something there that's more effective i just did it to have fun i i don't care I, right now i'm nearly max on my account i only have a few machine guns to upgrade all my flamethrowers you know my final flamethrower is being maxed right now so two sniper towers and all the machine guns that's essentially it for that i have for my base so i don't i don't care about the goal i don't care about the real time so i was just having fun for myself so guys again i want to thank you so much for sticking with me showing me your support for my videos i really appreciate it um and i hope this video was fun for you and that you know it show you something that you know a strategy that you never thought that you could maybe take on uh on your heart this way so thank you again and and remember to check my other videos subscribe if you can and like in any case guys thank you for stopping by and salt is checking out